Well, meanwhile, two 18 wheelers crash and burst into flames on I-20 this afternoon. NBC 6's Jay Shakur joins us now in studio sharing more. Jay? That's right, Dan and Jackie. I spoke to some of the first responders who jumped to action when they saw the crash. I'm trying to pull him, and, and finally another guy came and helped me pull him, and just when we got him out, it... Two 18-wheelers crash on I-20, west of Shreveport, leaving two drivers injured. Well, when I pulled up, I saw that the truck tires was on fire, and I seen people running from the truck, so I got my fire extinguisher out of my truck and ran towards the fire to try to help put it out. The Cattle Parish Sheriff's Office says one of the semi-trailers was rear-ended by the other. Both caught fire, which then spread to a wooded area. A rescuer says they had a hard time finding one of the drivers because he was covered in debris. They pulled him out of the truck seconds before it exploded. Yeah, he was he was completely covered. He was complete. I think he had, might have got knocked out or something because everybody, they looked in every every other part of the trucks and didn't see nobody. Rescuer Ken DeNappis, a volunteer firefighter, was on his way to the airport when he came across the collision. The fire had just started and uh, jumped out of the truck, uh, grabbed the uh, fire extinguisher and heard the uh, driver calling for help. Both drivers were taken to the hospital for treatment. As a fireman, it's the best thing we could ever do. Um, it's it's also the scariest thing. We're trained to, uh, to run to the fire not away from it. I thought about my wife. She died in my arms. I couldn't help her. But I was going to help him. Now a third truck was damaged in the crash, but police say the driver was not taken to the hospital. I-20 near exit 80 is closed while the cleanup continues. Officials suggest drivers avoid the area for the next few hours. As of now, traffic remains backed up for nearly eight miles. Back to you. All right, some emotional interviews there. Wow, thank you so much, Jay.